Kira, I'm 15 and I've been cheering and dancing with you all for 10 years. And where did you have your treatment? Um, I had treatment up at the Royal Children's Hospital mm -hmm. five times a day. Well, like five times, mm -hmm. five days in a row. And then I had like a month off. And that like, And you've got some beautiful braids in this morning, yeah. but um, tell us about all of that and what um, happened. So it was after like my first round, I was in the hospital with a belly bone infection, and I was like brushing my hair, and then clumps of hair started coming out, and then like the next two days, it had just all fallen out, and I remember mum brushing my hair with a bin next to it, and the bin was full, because my hair was pretty thick too. And how long was so, it? Oh, it was at least down there. <laughs> Did you go for wigs? I did buy a wig, but I hated it because it's like a half one, so I was like the top. So I never wore it. I, mean, I wore it like twice. She rocked the ball. Chucked it in the bin. Burned in the bin. It was only like 100 bucks. <laughs> I tried to come to training like every day because it just, you know, seeing my friends and all that made me happy. I do like I couldn't do a burpee, I couldn't do a push up, couldn't do a V snap because it was just so hard and I got tired after the four beach thing. Yeah. So that was hard. So the States run was um, um the difficult States one. The States run was very hard. <laughs> I died really badly. It's so funny to see the end of the video. I'm like, <laughs> and everyone just comes over to me. Yeah, it was very emotional, wasn't yeah. it? So like I wrote down goals like every day that I wanted to achieve. So like one of my goals one day was just to go outside and bounce on the tram for like at least five minutes. But um, I just tried to keep myself busy because then I'd think about it. So mum would like take me out if I could or I'd just literally just do stuff at home to keep myself busy. And obviously coming to training was another yeah, thing that you really wanted to keep doing. Every day to keep myself busy. If it wasn't for my friends, I probably wouldn't be here yeah. right now. Yeah. I think it was hard too because I think at points you didn't want, you wanted to push people away, yeah. but you knew Sometimes it was. Sometimes I just didn't want to talk to anybody, so I didn't get it. But then when you have those friends, they're just able yeah. to talk to. Apparently, they invited me to everything even though I wasn't feeding. Um, I still did everything with the teams. Went to everywhere, every comp. I was still there and all up with them, so I still felt like And um, Kira Can. Yeah, and the bows, which were amazing. I love them. And I still haven't put mine in my hair yet, which I've got to do. Oh. 
Oh, you should definitely do that. Yeah, that's so cool. I forgot about that. Last year, they told me before I left that this is my last round, and then I went to Queensland and came back on my last round, and they were like, look, if scans come back, you're being remission. So it was just all based on those scans, and then my scans came back, and that presentation I announced And how, what did you feel when you found out you were in remission and it was clear? Um, it was kind of hard to believe because you're so used to, it's kind of like school, you're so used to doing that routine every day, getting up. Changed going to hospital, but it was such a relief. Yeah, my life could get back to normal again. And what were your first things that you thought about wanting to do once you found out you're in remission? Telling people definitely it was a big surprise because I didn't really tell anybody. Um, coming to the gym and then going back to school, even though that's not the same. Going back to school was the biggest thing as well. Yeah. Um, the cheer was just to start with the basics and just get them strong again and really work hard to be back in the team by the team and dance because we had already set on getting all the fitness back up as well so I was trying to do everything to get my fitness back up, went for a run and stuff. To that point. My cardio, which I still struggle with, but I really worked on runs, like going for runs around the beach because I love going to the beach sunset, just will do, and just pull out abs a lot. I did that a lot. Lots of um, Aussie tumble coaches yeah. training. <laughs> a lot of, I remember I used to text Aaron and be like, Aaron, what can I do? What can I do now? Yes, and more, yeah. I think. Yeah, well you yeah. couldn't do your Arabian series and things yeah, like I, that, could you? Yeah, I never did Arabian until after chemo, and I won pretty much all my swims back, except for my Standing full. Yeah. We'll let that one go. Yeah, we'll that, one, that one doesn't count. But yeah. I've gotten everything back and back in all the routines. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I hated coming to training at the start of the year because everybody was just so fit still and I was just still back and behind. But it's okay now. I still struggle. Because chemo affects your heart. So yeah. Cardio is really hard. Trips to Sydney. Yeah, we did two trips to Sydney. We did one on the Wild Speed and then found the beaches. Um, Pinnacle for both of my cheer teams this year. You're back in the air? Back in the air, flying, which is what I love to do. Um, and I'm back spawning, which is actually really fun. Um, I'm grateful for having a roof over my head and being healthy now because seeing a lot of those kids up there who stay in there every day and can go home, I'm very grateful that. I got it out easy, even though it was hard still. Um, grateful for my family, because a lot of people don't have family. So that was a big thing. And of course my family and friends and cheer. It was a big thing a lot because a lot of people struggle with friends and stuff. So, yeah. I think it's amazing watching you physically now do all those things. Yeah. You wouldn't have even thought twice two years ago yeah. that you wouldn't be able to do that stuff. So I'm just grateful for everything and me struggle getting back to their normal life but that was my goal. Yeah. And I still today still surprise them when I go up and they say how good I look. Oh, <laughs> they listen to me, my oncologist goes, gee you're looking good today. I'm like, I know. And I'm like, it's my brain. I know literally when I went up um, I think it was I don't know when I was coming up a couple months ago and I had braids in and they were like, your hair's grown so much and I was like, yeah. One, my coach braids it, and my mum massaged my head, and that helps the growth of the um, cells. So, <laughs> my mum looked it up. So, oh, that's funny. Always keep your family close, even when they're annoying. So very nice but don't push yourself away from people, even if you want to, because that can have a negative effect. And believe in yourself. Sometimes just push through it because you know there's always going to be a positive outlook to it. Um, and always believe in yourself. And you can't go back. You can't go back to 
past like you can change anything so My sister Wilson. asks one. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. The yeah. first question is from M. Wilson. She yeah. wants to know who is your favourite sibling. So I'm, I'm like, sure it's Lockie. Oh, no. I was going to say Harvey, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she like called me. She goes, so I asked the question. And I was like, oh, gosh. She goes, yeah, who's your favourite sibling? And I was like, by far, not you. And, like, and she hung up with me. And I was like, <laughs> Same the dog. Um, Macy from Elevation has asked, how hard was it to get back into cheer? Um, it was hard, but everybody wants to, you know, everyone wants to achieve their goals, so I just got to push through it. It was definitely really hard. It was probably harder than even starting cheer because you have to sit right at your body. Jade from Elevation also said, how long have you been with Cheers Along? I think we answered that before, but it would be close to 10 years, yeah. I'd say. I don't know if next year's my ninth or my 10th. I, I feel like know. next year is, is your ninth competitive yeah. Yeah, season. What was it like going into level four? This question's from Amy Anderson. Um, it was a big step up, but we had already like started training level four stuff, so it wasn't that bad. Yeah. But it was exciting. Also, no problem. And Katie has asked which 2019 routine that you're not in is like your favourite to watch of ours. G Crew, mm -hmm. definitely G Crew, and Harmony. I love watching Harmony. And a cheer is Jags. I love Jags. This routine. Yeah, they miss having you in there. It's such a good routine. Every time it's on, I'm like, yes. And then they should have <laughs> their new Cory they added the other day, and I was like, that looks so good. <laughs> Are you hoping to for Cheer Geelong to have a level five team next year? Yes. We gotta show off those twisting skills at yeah, some point. Definitely. Very That'd be good. so good. I can't wait for it to come out. Yeah. Bye. I'm Naomi and I've won the world's team with Kira. Um, Kira's always bubbly and she's always in a good mood. She's the person that you go to when you're feeling down and she always is your hype up man and always makes you laugh, like there's not a dull moment with Kira and she always makes everyone smile and everyone happy. Kira never missed a training while she was going through chemo. She always supported us and she was always there to cheer us on even though she was sitting out throughout all the trainings. Um, when we went to States it was pretty tough because we had like two routines but like we didn't care which one we had to do, we just wanted Kira to like feel like she was a part of our team and we would rather have gone out there with her and like not done as well. Which we did win, pretty win, but well, like better with her probably. So we all just like had more fun and we were more motivated because we just wanted what was best for all of us and what was best for her. And we definitely bonded it after that because we just wanted to do it for Kira. We wanted to do our best just to make her feel better and make her feel more about more part of the team. Yeah, she supported us through all of this. Really? Kira's friend? Tell me about her comeback. 